Do you start with uh, this hype and laughter with every coach? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> is it? I do. Yeah, no, that's I try. That's beautiful. With some coaches, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> with some coaches, it's yeah. with the language of play. <laughs> yeah, with some coaches, I have to say, please, language. <laughs> 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 All right, um, yeah, let me just maybe uh, hand it over to you guys to ask, you know, all the questions mm. uh, in the interest of time. So let's see the show of hands. Katejo, I think, is the first one. Mm. <coughs> Yasanga, you'll be next. Robin Juka, also also not Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You fine? Oh, yes, good. So Thank you. Gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coach, Mr. Murillo, sir. Another win yesterday. Coach, uh, maybe we, you know, you talk a lot about the team, the character, and stuff like that. But I want to ask, um, what has this period uh, taught you about the team that you said that maybe you, you didn't know before? I mean, this period has been a tough uh, one. Maybe mm. perhaps from our side of playing safety, like you did in the first half of the season, but you're still getting the results. You know, yeah, let me start by greeting members of the media. Good afternoon to everybody, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um, and also to, to thank you for your patience. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I think uh, maybe f two seasons ago, some of these games we would have lost. Um, I think for sure the, the Spurs game, maybe two seasons ago, we would have lost it or drawn it. It, it reminded me of uh, a game we played against Stellenbosch a few, maybe like two seasons ago, where we drew 1-1. They equalized very late with uh, with a penalty, I think, with uh, Sipombule fouling, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that The conditions, the pitch, the rain. Um, I think this team now has developed a lot of character. Um, we bleed. Uh, sometimes we bleed a lot around the box. Uh, but I think we, we, we cover up our wounds very, very quickly in this, uh, this season and maybe even at this point in time in the season, it's not easy to play three matches in seven days. Um, and also the character, the mentality, the personality of, 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 of the team. Uh, yesterday I was very happy with the first half performance. I thought we were very, very good yesterday in the first half. Um, but then we, we suffered a little bit in the second half, of course, because also the opponent is, is playing for something, trying to save their PSL status. So you can't dominate the game forever. And, um, but I'm happy that we, we're showing a lot of character and desire in the games. And uh, as I said, even after the game, without even having the exact details. But the first whisper in, in, in walking into the change room was we ran more than we, we have in the last couple of games. And when I went deeper into it, they told me that we actually did 20 kilometers more than uh, we did in the, in the last game against Yanga. So without a lot of training, without a lot of recovery, uh, the players have put in a, a big, big, big shift. And I'm, I'm very happy and very proud of the effort of, of the players. Uh, afternoon, Coach. Afternoon, brother. Um, coach, uh, in a few minutes ago, before the press, press conference started, you expressed how tired you are. You know, so, um, how much, how much of a toll is it, not only to the players, but to you guys as coaches, having to to, to plan for for games in, in such a short space space of time? Yeah, it's uh, heavy is the head that carries the crown, isn't it? So. We ask for the responsibility. The responsibility comes with uh, what it comes with, and so we have to. We have to. Needs must. Um, in the in the flight, I was actually talking to Coach Michael, and he says to me, "What's your plans for the off season?" I said to him, "Are you already thinking about off season?" He says, "Yeah, but you have to. You have to think about these uh, situations, and and maybe do a, a club visit in in in, in Europe." Uh, and I said to him, uh, you are so far ahead of me, I'm already thinking about the next game, which is Tux. 
uh, and already started with the analysis on the flight. A two-hour flight gives me an opportunity to at least to get one game through. Um, and it is what it is because the players expect uh, information about the performance yesterday, tomorrow. They expect some information about the next opponent uh, on, on, on Friday. It's a big game for us. We haven't been in this position in a very, very long time where at this point in the season we're still competing for, for three more trophies. Um, and so we just have to make sure that as the leadership we are, we are on top of our game and we, we show the, the energy and the desire that the players have to breed off from, you know. And it starts with us. Um, but yeah, needs must, and uh, we just have to give more and more and more towards the end of the season. Thank you, Coach Robin Juk of Monte Carabo. Coach one, Coach one trophy in the bag. Can you, with the, just talk about three now left. Can you pull this off? How much of? Yeah. yeah, but who's done it before? Yeah, as much as we want to do it and as much as uh, we think about the possibility of doing it, but for sure it's a very, very difficult task. Um, and, and you have to think about who has done it before. And I keep saying to as a, as, a, as a youngster, I was probably not even uh, uh, thinking about coaching at that time. And I remember Mushina Etrigal's Kaiser Chiefs with the Operation Fat Alice. And even they didn't win the league, you know, and they had such a good side, playing such good football. I remember, I think the, the Confederations Cup was still called the Mandela Cup, if I'm not mistaken. And, and it, it was such a good side. Uh, but that already tells you how difficult uh, trying to win every single trophy is. And so we have to go game by game and try to establish ourselves in every competition and put ourselves in the next round of every competition. And we've done that very well at the moment. And so um, we've got to just continue with a laser focus and with a lot of humility and, and, uh, and also minimize our, our, our hearing of the noise. You know, there's a lot of noise, but um, if we just stay focused on, on, on the task at hand, we should be fine. All right, uh, just keep moving. Tell me. Uh, yeah, I've, I've noted. Coach. How are you, Tell me. Good, good. There's a, there's a difference about this moment on the side and You mentioned that two seasons ago, they knew that you were if there's anything I picked up from what it is that you guys are doing differently, there's a bite about you. Um, uh, I don't want to call it the dirty side of the game, but you give as good as you get. Where does that come from? Because we saw it in the AFL prove to be the difference. Um, we see players like them as one who such a tough character stand up and he's in people's faces. He's giving the fight as good as he's getting it. Whereas usually you guys would have been, you guys would have tried to be pretty, sit back, take it, and then end up losing because of it. But now you guys are almost in, in Africa to say you use a stare of money. Um, where does it come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, I take it as a compliment. I think it's something that uh, uh, I think uh, if you look at all the most successful teams globally, uh, they've always had this side to them. You go to a Manchester United with your Roy Keynes, uh, the Liverpool sides have always had some of these characters with your Jamie Carragher's and uh, Manchester United, with, uh, I've spoken about Man United also with your, your Neville's and, and even though players like Rio Ferdinand were not always uh, the getting dirty type of players, but they were always getting stuck in and with a lot of personality post goals. Real Madrid, that side with Zinedine Zidane that uh, won three Champions League titles. Your al Ahly sides that uh, get dirty and maybe not so pretty. Now Miami at the beginning of the season said my talks are, are, are very painful and, and, and because I've, got a lot, I've, I've still got a lot of pain on uh, how we lost the Champions League last season. And uh, even though the pain comes with uh, maybe 
a, a good sense of, of motivation. But I think what, the biggest lesson I learned was the importance of the way goals in the Champions League. And I said to myself, really right from the beginning, is that if, if we are to lose a tie, it must not be because we've conceded goals. And, and that is one of the things I worked very, very hard with the technical team and the coaches to try to improve on our side is, is the team. I mean, you can just imagine being the best team on the continent last season, not having lost a game. But then you exit uh, a Champions League, which is a playground that we want to be part of. And we want to be consistently featuring in the semi-finals, quarter-finals. But if you neglect the laws of the game, and at, that, and at this time, unlike the UEFA Champions League, which, which we all watch, I mean, yesterday we watched such a good game between Man City and, uh, and Real Madrid. And the sun, Sundowns cannot afford to be home in the Champions League and concede three goals. It's not possible because of the away goals rule. And, and that is why we, I think one of the, the biggest factors in terms of us becoming a bit miserly at the back and, and trying to keep clean sheets and, and, and not concede goals is, is perhaps how we lost the Champions League last season. Um, and we know we can't change the laws of the game, but of course we can change how we, 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 we perform and, and try to, of course we still want to play the Sundowns way and we still want to be, but, but we have to continue with what we are doing and, and um, one of the big aspects is, 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 is conceding goals. Uh, SK, SK Media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, level is, the level is high. Yeah, no, the level is very high. No, it's very high. Good afternoon, big man. Well, we want to try and leave the jersey better than we found it. Uh, the level is very high. Uh, under the previous coach, for sure, the, the group was uh, extremely, uh, even more relentless than what we are. And we, we're just trying to make sure that we, we, we leave this jersey better than we found it. Um, the standard has been set. Uh, there's a point tally that no one has broken. We tried last season and we, we fell one point short. Uh, we haven't won the Champions League yet. We are, a club, we are a club that is trying to entrench ourselves into being one of the best, not just in South Africa, but on the continent too. And we want to be remembered as a group that gave it our all, you know, um, even in the midst of, of some of the sacrifices we have to make and uh, some of the sufferings that we have to undergo. But at the end of the day, we have to try to, to serve this club with, with uh, as much dignity and pride as the supporters carry themselves, you know, for this club. They love this club and you can, you can feel their passion. And we, are, we want to do the best that we can to, to appease them and to, to give them what they deserve. And these, these fans deserve all the happiness that they are, they are undergoing at the moment. And we're going to have to try and to continue that. We're going to have to try to do more and more and more each and every single day. And, and good is not good enough for this football club. It's a club that wants more and um, we have to achieve more. We have to play better. We have to win more. We have to... And, and that, is, that is what we try to do every single day. Up next is Prime Sports. Coach, now in football, where you have a situation where you have a high intensity in a so-called world division team, a small team, there's a way they always use of a banana skin. You can do anything else in the world. Do you see this as a, as a, as a proverbial banana skin? Well, for every banana skin, they must, you must eat the banana first. And so... <laughs> and uh, we try not to eat bananas, you know. We, and, and that's the, the focus we have. Try to respect the opposition. A good, good side with a very good coach. Uh, a coach that earned his stripes also because I remember uh, even in my youth days I've, I would see him at the tax uh, training facilities 
coaching the juniors, coaching the Castle League sides. And so he's someone that I've got a lot of respect for because he's, he's earned his stripes. And then they've got a very good side. Uh, as I said, just in the plane now, I was watching and I, I watched, fortunately, a couple of weeks ago, I watched their game against Swallows and I said already, and not because it's coached by Musa Nyatama, but Swallows is a team that I enjoy watching and whenever they are on, on the screens, I, I try to watch. Um, and they played very, very well against Swallows. I thought they were, they were, they were really, really very good. I saw today that um, even though they've got probably um, Sibanyoni out, they still have some very good attackers. Uh, a player like Abrams, who can play on the wing back, on both on the left and the right, and even against uh, Cape Town Spurs, played as a as a front striker, is so powerful, so good, left foot, right foot, ambidextrous, can cause you a lot of problems. They've got some very good uh, wing backs, both on the left and on the right. They deliver the ball very early in the um, in the box. Of course, I think they'll miss Tamago, who's who's really been important for them. But I think Tab Tabiso Mukwena, is the number twelve, has got a lot of experience. You you can see that um, probably the guy that helps them kill off the attacks of the opposition, maybe even give a pass. To players like Samuel Julius, uh, I know Promise won't be playing, but also is very important for them. And then the the back three, you know, the back three is very experienced. I, I saw some, I mean, Mahlangu, for an example, uh, Harold on uh, left centre back is, is so important for them. And so, and then the Na Namibian goalkeeper who was at FCO now, good experience. Um, keeps them in a lot of the games and... Um, so good team, good team, and one will go with a lot of respect uh, because we want to see ourselves in the semi-final of this competition. But to do that, you've got to work very, very hard. And, and we've started our, our, our analysis of the opposition very strong on the transition, very strong on second balls, very strong on, on direct attacks uh, and putting pressure around the box. But one of the things that I, I, I comforted myself with was that we played a, a team that played a little bit of a similar formation and a little bit of a similar approach and kept on Spurs just yesterday and uh, it was a good dress rehearsal for us because uh, we're going to need to be very strong on direct balls, second balls, dealing with the pressure around our box and set pieces. We are going to have to be very, very strong in, in those aspects on, on Friday. Okay, let's go to Mr. Ramara from the SBC. It's 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, it's not my. I mean, I'm done. Not even an extra time. Oh, extra time. time. Okay, let's let's go for it. As long as <laughs> as long as we don't concede or score. <laughs> okay. Yeah, coach. Yeah. Yes, sir. You've already spoken about uh, a lot of noise that is coming your way, and as a club, you're trying to ignore that. Are you specifically referring to the referee decisions that people have said? You know. No, no, uh, I can't because there's a lot that's said about sundowns, and I, I fortunately have uh, I've done it before in the past. I've gone on a social media sabbatical, uh, so I don't know what is being said about who and how. I just watch the games. I can tell you that my opinions are that uh, the decisions were right, um, and those are just my opinions. I am not a f an official ref. But, um, of course, these are the things that happen in football. We, we lost an empty and eight final uh, because of some decisions that I thought were not fair on us. But that's football, you know. These things even themselves out. I think at the, at the end of the day, you win some, you lose some. And that's, I think, the nature of, of, of sport and football, you know. You can't always be on the, on the receiving end of, 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 of the situations. I also believe that, uh, and I said, you guys asked me and you laughed at the beginning of the season. I think one of your colleagues asked me, what does it take to win the Champions League? And I said, we need a lot of luck. And when I see the, 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 the incident against Yanga, and then I say, we have a lot of luck, as, o as opposed to last year's semi-final where we lost. And we lost that goal or the, considered the second goal, and I thought we were extremely unlucky. But um, things even themselves out. God loves us all, and sometimes when he, you feel he neglects you, 
he's got a way of showing his hand and saying, I'm still God and I've still got favor upon my people, you know. <laughs> no, but it's true. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's how I feel at the moment, you know. I feel, I feel like there's, uh, there's God's grace upon us and um, uh, long may it continue because, um, yeah, some, there have been moments, like I said, Champions League last season, I felt there was a push on, on, on him, Toby. Uh, for the for the equalizer to make it two two, and we didn't get uh, the rub of the green, if you would like to call it. And then this season, I thought we had uh, we've had some very good moments and fortunate moments, and and all of that, all of that. And I don't want to even give uh, any type of sniff to to speaking about the referees. For me, all of that as a as a child of God, all the grace, the glory has to go to God because these are moments that he shows up and when you need him the most, he's, he's able to, to say, I, I've got you. And even though sometimes I may drop you, but I've got you. Glory to God. No, glory, glory to, to No, but it's true. Um, I, think, I think we've gone over 20 minutes. Um, you, you stole three. Eh? You stole three. I in, stole three. With the introduction. <laughs> Yeah, but I think we're going to have to end it here. Uh, I know there were still some hands coach who were very popular. Can you get his thoughts uh, on Esperance? We haven't spoken to him. I think the club will make... Will make uh, will, 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 are, you, are you allowing it? Okay, okay. Coach, are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, I know, you see now I've got too many hands. My, my head was up. Wrong. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> so who do I who do I pick? Uh, give three. Last three. Yeah, I'll try yeah. to be yeah. short also. You try to be short. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have much to say about I don't have much to say about the Esperance, to be honest. I, I only watched their game against ASEC. Um good team. Okay. But I'm sure there will be other opportunities should be for that game because we, today we were focusing on, on net banker. I know there were there were other hands. They actually accounted five hands before Kate was one. It was Venile, Temba, Lorenz, uh, Mazola, as well as. <laughs> but we do better, we'll end it here, uh, and uh, all the best coach for five. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, everybody.